welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've posted a video, but I'm here today to give a demonstration on um, bugging in at my home. And what I mean by that is, if I was to have an earthquake here in Southern California, more than likely, I'm not going anywhere. If something happens to my home, I'll probably be in the backyard. But in order to do so, I need to be comfortable. So with that being said, I'm going to show you what I just got with an unboxing and setup. So what you're looking at here is gazelle tents. And I also purchased the footprint that goes underneath the tent. So without further ado, let me show you the setup of what I have going on. So first, in my backyard, as you see, I have rocks. So to protect the bottom, I laid down some cardboard because I want to try this out, but I laid down some cardboard. I have a tarp here that I'm also going to lay out as well. And then I will put down the footprint, which is right here, and then set up the tent. Alrighty, let's go. Hey guys, um, oh, it's hot out here. What you missed, and I'm sweating, um, as you can see the sun is is up that's Southern California for you what I did was I laid down some cardboard and then a tarp which you see there is the tarp and then what I have here is the actual tent and I didn't know that I wasn't recording so you kind of missed me setting all that up but you will get to see me put the tent up for this section, everyone, I'm going to do a voiceover because this is an area that um, it's a lot trying to figure out what goes where, trying to figure out which is the front, which is the back. So, you know, first time setting up, it just takes some trying to understand what's going on. So instead of taking you through that boring process, I thought I would uh, just do a voiceover at this moment so um once i took it out it's a matter of trying to figure out what goes where and the black tarp that i'm sitting on or standing on is a footprint that goes underneath and so it is the size of the tent so I'm now trying to, you know, get everything situated onto that uh, tarp or footprint. And so I've said, okay, this is the front because of the zippers I saw on the screened area. And so I was just like, okay, let's just move this around. It is gangly, um, and I will say that it is heavy. So again, you will hear me speak on that at towards the end, that this as a whole is pretty heavy. So it would be nice if the bag had wheels on it. It would be easier to move around. Otherwise, a woman may need some type of cart to move this uh, unit around once it's together. But once you unfold it, it isn't heavy. It's pretty light to move around. So now I'm just trying to figure out where to start to pop out the sides. And I realized the back is the easiest. So here's a tip. Do the back first. Pop out the back and then pop out the sides. And that's what you see me doing here on the back side. I'm popping out the the sides of the tent. Now I can come around to the other side and pop out those uh, sides. And you do have to give a little tug there, guys. It's, it's not as easy as it looks on other videos, but you know, I do like the fact that I don't have to mess around with poles. Now, the I do know this is the screened area. It has a flap other tents I saw I guess older versions don't have that little flap that goes over the screened area so this one does and I'm glad it 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 does have that um, it can protect against wind um, and other ele elements 
as well as when you put the rain fly on for added protection. But it's simple enough just to roll it up and there's a, these little ties and, and you just tie those up. Easy peasy, self-explanatory, no need for me to go into details here. So I put up one for show. I didn't go around and put up all the flaps. So, so I'm going to take you on a tour on the outside before we go on the inside. So I don't know how much you guys caught of it because my camera wasn't recording at times, but these here are, um, these here are the pulls to pull out the sides. This is the pulls right there and you have to give a pretty good tug on it, but here it is from the back. Those are windows. This is like a screened in area that also has a flap that you hopefully just saw me put up. Coming around to the front, this is the zippers. And this is also a screened area right here. This is also screened. So I haven't put that up yet. And that's what the top looks like. Now let's go in. We are on the inside here. And this here is a loft net that goes up here. It attaches up here. So if you can see that, it attaches right there. And then, like I said, this is a screen. This is a screen, screen. So this is the screened in area. And then it has pockets on the divider between the screened area and the closed tent area, which is right here. So let's go in there. So, and by the way, this is the plastic that came with it. Um, so I'm just leaving it there. But anyway, this is the, the closed in part. It does have a back door. Again, this is a screen top. I need to apply the rain fly and there's also another loft net that goes up here that connects to these rings. So now this side does not have the pockets on the divider. However, there is pockets on the side here. And then of course, these are the windows that you can open for more air, another pocket, uh, another pocket. Yeah, this is, this zips up so that, you know, all the way around, it zips up. That's pretty cool. And then it also rolls up and then has these ties where you can roll it up. And so I wanted this one because I wanted the option to have, um, a screened in area so I said I can set up like my little camp kitchen in here and then sleep in the other half if I need to um, you know since I if I bug out or go camping um, so I still have to put on the rain fly I want to try that out and see how that works and see how difficult it is because I do know I have to bring the top down in order to put the rain fly over um, it but yeah, I would probably, I know that I would have to have several, I'm, I'm glowing guys, I'm glowing. I would have to have um, several cardboard if I was to do this in my backyard because of the rocks. Otherwise, I'm afraid I could mess up the, the bottom of the tent. So um, yeah, I'm happy about the purchase. It took me several months of waiting for them to get it in stock before I was, so I could get it back. So to sum up my experience with the Gazelle hub tent, um, true enough, it's pretty simple to pop the sides out and so forth. But with anything um, like Lead Farmer 73, we should practice doing, uh, we should practice our preps and so I'm kind of glad that I went through and put up this tent in putting up this tent um, 
I will say that it would be easier if it was two people, but it is pretty simple for one person to do it. Um, let's see, what else I found challenging was that some of the Velcro straps that are at the top of the tent, um, one of them kept coming loose. So before you pop up or pop out, you should go through and make sure all the Velcro is around each pole, is strapped around each pole. Um, I put the rain fly up. I didn't uh, record it, but it was hot outside, but I did put the rain fly up. I put it up backwards and then had to turn it around, but that's okay. That's how you learn. Um, and then, you know, putting in the, there are a few poles, but it's only three. That's it. And that's around the door frame. Uh, but other than that, I am pleased with it. I'm happy with it. And I like the fact that there's two rooms. I like the fact that you can still like have an area set up to cook or do something in and then an area where you can sleep in. So I do like that as well. Um, I don't know what else to say. I am, I can't say enough about this tent. It's easy. It's heavy, but it's easy. I like it. And, um, yeah, I, 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 I think I'll enjoy it. I plan on doing a camping trip for the first time. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, but if I need to go out in my backyard because something happens to my home during an earthquake, I can do that. I can, you know, put, set up everything. I think I will do a video, a separate video right. with Bouge RV, refrigerator, freezer, my Bouge RV, um, generator. I'm going to hook that up as well. Um, I have a table I'm going to set up there and see how that works as well. I don't want to do too much in there because like I said, my backyard is rock. I don't want to mess up the bottom of my tent with the rock. So I don't want to walk on it too much. Although I had to do quite a bit of walking to figure things out, but um, I'm definitely know that I'm gonna need a tent fan um, because it's hot in there. Even though outside of the tent is cool, inside the tent is hot. So yeah, definitely need a, a, a fan for the tent. And stay tuned for more videos. Bye.